You've learned that Thomas was able to create, format, and modify tables to focus on smaller sets of data. Then he was able to use table names, structured references, and database functions to make his job even simpler. Now you'll explore how Thomas can more easily navigate large workbooks so that he can find the sales data he needs to accomplish his task. Thomas was handed large workbooks, which can be hard to navigate to find the information he needs. This is a good scenario for Thomas to learn how to format worksheet tabs, manage worksheets, and view worksheets and workbooks in different ways. With this scenario in mind, by the end of this lesson, you will be able to format worksheet tabs, manage worksheets, and manage the view of worksheets and workbooks. Let's start with our scenario. Thomas has large workbooks to work with to extract the sales data he wants to focus on, which can present unique challenges, especially with navigation. Let's explore how Thomas can format worksheet tabs and give them individual names and appearances. You will start by learning how to rename worksheet tabs. If you want to change the name of a worksheet tab, right-click on the tab you want to rename and then click Rename. Note that in a worksheet tab name, you can include text, numbers, spaces, capital letters, and up to a maximum of 31 characters. You can't include some symbols like forward slash, backslash, question mark, asterisk, colon, open square bracket, and close square bracket. Also, you can't call a sheet history, as this word is reserved for internal use in Excel. Next, type the name you would like to give this tab and press Enter. The new name will be applied. To rename a worksheet even faster, you can also double-click the tab name. You can also change the color of a worksheet tab to make it even more identifiable. To do that, right-click the tab that you want to change and click Tab Color and select your preferred color. Note that the color is not obvious on the tab when you set it. It's designed to be vibrant and visible when you're not in that sheet. And here's a quick tip. You can change the color of multiple sheets at once by holding the control key and clicking each tab to select them as a group first. You can also use the Select All Sheets command in the right-click menu to select all sheets in the workbook for modification. And you can also find both the tab color and rename commands on the Home tab under the Format drop-down menu.